Hi, this is ABA Antiques of Boca Beach and Terrigal. We're today talking to you about brooches. Brooches had ancient beginnings holding up the loincloth. It was called a fibula and it was fashioned after a safety pin. And that became something um, that turned into a fashion item later on when um, buttons superseded uh, the loincloth fibula and to fasten your clothes in the 13th century people started wearing buttons instead and in the late 1800s um, early 20th century the zipper superseded the button but brooches continued to be a fashion feature and extremely much so in the early part of the 20th century late 1800s 20th century this was an example of a betrothal brooch it's a crescent moon with pearls for contentment and rubies and sapphires for love and it's I uh, give you the moon and the stars and that would be in a gift given from uh, someone courting a, a girl a man courting a girl and asking for perhaps a proposal after that this is one of my favorites it's a nanny's brooch it opened up uh, inside the cylinder is a needle and cotton on hand always to mend the children's clothing if the nanny was in charge. Here's another beautiful romantic one and this one's a butterfly for rebirth and pierced, you've pierced my heart with love with the arrow piercing the heart and beautiful examples of handmade brooches here with all sorts of different stones. This is most likely Celtic. The Celts loved brooches and to hold their kilt together too and this one is a brooch and a pendant with a a cairngorm or a, a amethyst featured on it. This embossing and this one's an opening one to put um, a photo locket or a lock of hair inside. It flips over, you can wear it one side or the other. Tiny little seed pearls were featured very much in brooches. This one's a mispar brooch. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from the other. All inscribed on the brooch, perhaps given at the time of bereavement. Uh, little tiny birds, seed pearls in the form of a Masonic symbol, uh, hand painted French ones, uh, brooches featuring the hair of a deceased loved one, um, circular brooches for eternity, still a symbol we're using, even Tiffany's and co are using this round symbol of eternity, often featured back in olden times. And then more modern brooches are like little tiny bees which and um, insects and uh, we have mosaic brooches from Italy all made from handmade from little tiny tiles and uh, dragonflies, uh, Celtic carnelian brooches, just to name a few. They were so important in fashion and still are now, making a comeback fortunately. People are wearing brooches uh, um, more often now. So thank you very much.